everybody, it's Bunny, and it's time for another edition of First Impression Friday. Today, we're gonna be peeling our faces off because we are going to try this brand new Glam Glow Magical Silver Face Peeling Mask. I just wanna see how it's all gonna go. This is a brand spanking new product that just arrived at Sephora in January. And my camera, for some reason, literally the little focus box is on these holes in my shirt. What is going on here? We are just gonna slice open this box and rub some stuff all over our faces. I wish this was like a swamp party sleepover and you were all here and I could be like, come on, put the mask on your face too. Uh, so I open the box and it says, hello sexy. That's a little bit forward coming from a face mask. The cool thing about this version of Glam Glow, we tried a Glam Glow as a first impression Friday, I believe over a year ago. I think I did the original one in 2014 when they first started coming out. Since then they've come out with like 20 different varieties of Glam Glow, but the exciting thing, it would be more exciting if I could open it. It's been one of those days. I wish I had scissors, but I don't. I just have a giant knife. The exciting thing about Glam Glow now, I'm not sure if it is just for this particular treatment mud or if all of them now come with a special little treatment brush so that instead of sticking your dirty phalanges in the pot and rubbing it all over your face, you can gently brush it on as if you were in like a $10,000 a treatment salon. Beautiful purple jar. Let's open Open the purple jar together. <gasps> Ooh, there's a safety seal. Mm. So this stuff somehow becomes silver. It honestly appears to be the consistency of actual glue. Right now it looks like a pearly white kind of color. It is kind of thin, so as I'm tipping the bottle, it's like, oh, you're about to spill. It smells very, very coconutty. So if you don't like coconut, you probably ain't gonna like this. It's very like thick on the skin. And as soon as you apply it, it does become more silvery. I can't wait till my face is silver and I've never done a peel off mask before in my life. I'm a little bit freaked out though because Guy Tang did a peel off mask on Instagram a couple days ago and he was like in really bad pain because it like stuck to his face. Let's hope that doesn't happen. Basically, this is a firming treatment. It says it's out of this world. It will change from white to a brilliant chrome and it peels off, leaving skin feeling tighter and more lifted. It is supposed to have ingredients, mega targeted ingredients that work together to help skin's contours feel firmer and look more defined. So you are supposed to apply a generous even layer to clean skin with a brush, avoiding eyebrows and hairline. And then you leave it on for 20 to 30 minutes and then supposedly it just lifts off. So I'm going to go wash my face really quick because I do have on my daily moisturizer right now and it says clean. So I'm going to follow the instructions. <sighs> I mistakenly used a gigantic straw for this teeny tiny coffee. I feel like I, what, what have I done here? It's like I can drink from a mile away. I probably should have dried my neck. Ugh. I'm back with a fresh Shampooed face is what I was about to say. Look at the consistency of this stuff. It's like the craft stuff, Mod Podge. If you guys have ever done that. Ooh, I don't know if you're supposed to go like back and forth. I think I just got it in my hair, so that's gonna be super comfy to rip off. I feel like maybe I should just be going in one direction. <gasps> I'm just gonna go in one direction. <laughs> Even though I feel like One Direction now went in like many different directions because didn't they all break up too soon? Too soon. I wonder if I could even name all the members names. I literally couldn't tell you one One Direction song. I feel like I should stop talking now before I dig myself into a real deep fandom hole. I feel like I need a mirror. I don't know what I'm doing. It's too far away. I can't see what's happening. This smells so coconutty. Okay, it's like being on a vacation somewhere where lots of coconuts are. I hope this is gonna remove some of my blackheads because 
I feel like I have a whole colony of blackheads that just decided to settle on my nose. They just thought that that was okay. I'm just trying to make sure that it is thick enough that it will make a peelable mask. I'm scared if I go too thin with it, then it won't peel all off in one piece. And uh, I feel like that will be a less gratifying face mask experience if it peels off in a bunch of little pieces. I think I just got it in my eyebrows too. Somebody call Vogue. I am going to set a timer right now. I remember the first time I tried a Glam Glow mask, I tried the black one, which I think is Youth Mud. I don't know why I can never remember the names of these things, but it started stinging and burning pretty intensely right off the bat. And so far I'm not getting that feeling with this one. I do feel a slight bit of tingle, but it's not so intense that I'm like annoyed or anything. So I just set a 30 minute timer because I feel like the longer that I will be able to wear this on my face, the better the results that I will get. And I'm quite curious about the instant effects of this product, like the instant firming feeling. I don't know about you guys, but I'm always uh, pretty skeptical when somebody says that it will instantly do something. They do say that you can use this up to twice a week. I have extremely sensitive skin and I use so many other skincare products already that I think I should probably only do this once a week. I do feel like I went through more of this product than the other face masks by Glam Glow that I normally use, but maybe that's just because I went a little bit overboard or maybe because I'm using this little brush this time and normally I just use my fingers. Already you guys can see that it is pretty intensely silver. I feel like I could be like some kind of superhero like face mask girl. So now we wait and I'm gonna just stare at you for 30 minutes straight. Yes, just like this. I will check back in with you guys in about five minutes and we will see if this looks any different. I definitely do feel like it's getting shinier and more metallic and more silvery with every minute that passes. It has been 10 minutes since I applied this. I feel like it's definitely becoming more metallic, much more silver. I do feel it tightening on my face, but it's not like some other face masks that I've tried where it almost feels like I can't move or make any facial expressions or smile. Like I feel like I can still do all of that stuff. Hey honey. I wanna show you something. Look at my face. Why don't, why don't you come sit down? Come sit down for a while. Come hang out. Can I interest you in a luxurious face mask? <laughs> it would it would look just like this. <laughs> look, feel it. It feels cool. I'm like a superhero. Welcome to Madam Bunny's salon, where you get all the stuff that you never want to happen, to happen to your face. Look, I can give you a man bun. So your hair doesn't, can I give you, can I, can I give you a man bun? Yeah. One man bun coming up. I'm gonna try it. This trick that everyone does where they just put a band in their hair and then it, is that? Oh my gosh! Look, wait, wait, duck down. You're too tall. You're too tall. Look at that. That's a good look. Just sit back and relax. Imagine that you're floating in the clouds. I wonder what they would say at a spa. Probably not. Imagine you're floating through the clouds. <sighs> Wait, you can't, you can't. You gotta be serious. Be real serious. <laughs> it's like putting a sweater on a dog. That's a great look for you. We can go out right now and get some tacos like this. Yes, this is a great look. Da -da 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 -da. I feel like we're hypnotizing people right now. <laughs> they say the couple that masks, face masks together, stays together. Never heard that. <laughs> are, are we bonding right now? Did you say that? Who said that? It's a phrase. People say it hmm. on the internet. It's a real thing. Is it supposed to burn? Wait, is yours burning? Mm-hmm. Is it burning like really intensely? Not intensely. Okay, because see mine was not an intense burn. Some of them really burn, like as if your face is being stung by a lot of wasps all at once. That's how it's supposed to feel? That's how it's supposed to feel. 
And what does this do? It's instant burming. And what's that mean? Like it's gonna, like instantly. Like, like Botox? <laughs> I don't know if that's what Botox does. Like I don't know what Botox, Botox does. I don't know what Botox does. But if it firms, then yes, just like Botox. Do you want some coffee? Will that make it will that make it better? No. <laughs> okay, um, well, I have had mine on now. Ooh, I only have six minutes left. Look at that. Wait, let's take a picture together. You don't feel I younger? You feel burning. Is it burn burning? On a degree, on a, on a Scoville unit of burning. <laughs> How many jalapenos are you at? Is it worse than a jalapeno? Are you ghost pepper? Yeah. Burning? It, it's more like, uh, it's more than a jalapeno if it were on my tongue, yeah. Oh my gosh. Ooh, look, my face is dry now. I have, <laughs> Thank you for treating my face like a basketball. No. <laughs> I only have two minutes till I get to peel my face off. Huh? Two minutes till I get to peel my face off. Huh? Two minutes. Wait, no, you can't put your moist face on my face. Look, though. Ugh. Okay. No. Ew. Look. Look. No. No. You're gonna be mm -hmm. less. No. You're gonna be less young in that area. No. 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 No, 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 ew! <laughs> Wait, is it, is it burn burning? Because if so, I should wipe it off your face. No, it's not burn burning. Are you having a good time right now? You enjoying this? Is it good? Is it great? It's a fun time? You want to do this twice a week? Because that's how many times you're supposed to do it. No. Can you imagine if you had to do this twice a week? Why? Um, Why to firm that? the skin. <laughs> that doesn't excite you? See, I feel like everybody that does like makeup and skincare, when you're like, oh, this will firm your skin. We're all over that. <sighs> like I would attempt to climb a mountain if, if firm skin was promised at the top of the mountain. Is this something you think about a lot? Yeah. Who doesn't think about firmer skin? When did this? All the time. When did this start? Why do you think I put that? stuff on my face every single night. You see me do this. I don't know what you every put on Every single I don't know night. what that does. Oh my god. You just think I take like a tube of cream could and be, rub it on my face for eel spit fun. for all I know. I, there I, probably is an eel spit cream. There's a, there's, wait, no, remember I put snail cream on your face once. Remember, remember the good times we had together? Oh my gosh, it's the face peeling alarm. Wait, what if I can't peel this off my face? Then what? Then I have to go through light? i use this. <laughs> Don't. Maybe I didn't put on a thick enough layer. Look, nothing's happening. This is supposed to be a peel off mask. Oh my God, it's just your face. Ah! I feel like this is an episode of the Twilight Zone. Oh, look, I got my chin. Ew, look. <gasps> look, I'm peeling, I'm peeling my skin off right now. Do you, are you liking this? Oh boy. <laughs> Oh look! Ew, I accidentally licked it. Oh, this is so cool, you guys. This feels great. You know what this feels like? Ew! It feels like it keeps getting in my mouth. Okay, this feels like a Biore strip, like you know a blackhead strip. Have you you've got to have done one of those. Oh look, I'm like Santa Claus. Oh, this is so freakish. I'm really enjoying this moment. <laughs> <laughs> Time to keep on. Ew, it does keep getting in my mouth. But as soon as you get a good corner, it pretty much does peel up all in one piece, which is what, oh man, I just ruined it. Ooh, look. Do you wanna peel off the rest of it? Do you wanna, do you wanna, you wanna peel my face off? Ah, you're not just supposed to do it like a band-aid. Oh my gosh. Okay, so while he's drying, before we peel his face off, I will go ahead and give you guys my thoughts. I definitely don't feel like this is like a life-changing product where I'm like, oh my God, my face just feels totally different after just one use. But like I said in the beginning of this video, I am very skeptical about like use it once and then your whole life is changed. I feel like with every single skincare thing that has ever been invented, you pretty much have to do it 
almost regularly for 30 days. Obviously a treatment like this you don't want to do daily, but I feel like over time it would make a difference if you used it once a week or twice a week. I usually use my Black Youth Mud Glam Glow product at least once a week every week, and when I'm really good and on top of my skincare, I definitely can tell a difference over using it like a whole month like that. I definitely can tell a difference in my skin. I am glad that I don't show any signs of irritation. I am a little bit red up here because in some places I think I painted it on too thin and it didn't come off with the rest of the face mask. So I just did kind of have to like vigorously move my finger back and forth and try and peel off the little remnant pieces. I feel like I got it on the top of my lip and that's still there. It is a really fun process product. I've never had a peel off face mask before. So just the experience, it's so gratifying to peel something off your face. And as I was peeling it off, I did feel almost like impurities were being drawn out of my face. Like I said, it kind of makes me, it reminds me of the Bior blackhead strips. So you get a similar kind of sensation, like as if your face is feeling cleansed. So I definitely would use this product probably at least once a week, alternating with my other Glam Glow mask that I already have. I really enjoy that this one is not extremely strong. It's not too much burning. It's not too much tingling. So I feel like in some ways this one is a little bit more of a gentler formula. I feel like my skin looks fresher and I almost feel like I don't know if like it's some residual sparkly stuff, but I feel like there almost is a little bit more glow or elasticity maybe even to my skin. I would repurchase it at this point. I will have to check in back with you guys in like a month or so and let y'all know if I've used it all up. You will probably see this in an empties video. I've been gathering products for an empties video for like two months now. So probably pretty soon I will have an empties video for you guys and maybe this product will be in it and I can tell you like my overall thoughts after using it for a really long time. But as of right now, just as a first impression, I really do enjoy it. Do you want to peel your face off? Um, or do you want me to peel your face off for I mean, you? The burn was the fun part, so I guess it's, it's just Wait, so you like the burn? Yeah, I love the burn. Snake on a stick, snake on a stick. It's a snake on a stick, snake on a stick. Snake on a stick. Ooh, you're 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 dry. You're about ready for the peeling time. Well, you know, prohibition you're, has been big in this town. You're like a a ripe peely fruit. <laughs> Do I get to peel your face? Okay. Do I get to peel your face? Do I get to peel your face? Okay. Do I, get to peel your face? I said wait, yes. Wait, wait, no, I'm trying, I'm trying to smell your face. I want to see if it. <laughs> God, does my face smell coconutty? Smell my face. No. Smell my face. No. It doesn't? No. Because like your face smells like coconuts. Well, that's good for me. Ooh. Refreshing. <laughs> my face doesn't smell coconutty? No. Wait, smell more. Maybe you're not smelling it enough. It smells like Arby's. Wait, yours is so much easier to get started. I did a better job on you than yeah. I did myself. Ooh, look, look, feel. because I'm easy going. Feel the sensation. Feel the sensation. Are you enjoying it? Do you like this? Mm hmm sure. <laughs> Do you not like this part? I think it's cool, yeah. This is the cool no, part. This is nice. Look, yeah. now, there we go. And we'll stop there. Oh my gosh, your face uh, yeah. is so red. Yeah, I guess it was burning me. Oh no. I might have a mild allergy, huh? Oh no. Hmm. Uh-oh. Now I feel lots of guilt oh my gosh no look like deadpool <laughs> is that what deadpool looks like well, wait i thought deadpool was a spider-man-y looking one yeah but underneath that oh his skin's all burned up oh isn't darth vader like that too okay so I'm do you darth like deadpool better so who do you like better deadpool that doesn't look good at all why did we do this <laughs> no
This is a bad idea. I'm sorry. So Does it hurt? Is this is this what you call firmness? I mean, no. it, is, it is kind of firm. No. Yeah. I'm so sad your face is so firm. Definitely is firm. I feel f wait, really? Yeah. Oh, kiss it. No, it's not better. <laughs> but look, I feel like it's kind of fading a little already. No. <laughs> Are you really having a hurdy pain? Yes. Oh, no, no. Oh. Now I just feel sad. I'm glad I went ahead and said my final impression because I feel sad now. Oh, no. Feels well, thank you, special guest. I know, look, you're such a good sport about it. Look at this. Still not mad. Not mad at all. Made your face look like a tomato temporarily and you're not mad. Okay, so there you have it. And honestly, I'm kind of shocked by the results because we were just thinking and I don't think that there's ever been like another like soap or fragrance or like deodorant or any kind of product that he normally uses that he's ever had an allergic reaction to. And normally like I'm allergic to absolutely everything and this did not affect my skin at all. I'm not sure if it's just maybe because I put so many more skincare and cosmetic things on my face. Back in the day when we used to both do theater, he obviously had to wear like makeup and different products and stuff to be on stage. And I can't remember there ever being a time when he had an allergic reaction to anything but I am feeling pretty guilty right now so I'm gonna go help him I think I'm gonna put like some baking soda because times when I've like put tea tree I'm so allergic to tea tree oil times in the past when I have had an allergic reaction to something I put like a baking soda mixture on my face and it helps so I'm gonna go make that for him now but overall I really thoroughly enjoyed this product and I will be using the whole whole jar so that is my two cents give dogman extra thanks in the comments and one like equals one feel better dog man we can like do that today i don't know <laughs> i hope you guys enjoyed today's video thank you guys so so much for being here for watching and for hanging out with me if you're not already and you'd like to be hit that button down below subscribe become a member of the swamp family and give an alligator its wings also you can like me on facebook facebook.com slash graveyard girl or you can follow me on twitter tumblr or instagram at graveyard girl same way it's spelled here i love you guys so so much and i will see y'all tomorrow Bye!